Hi guys, I'm back again with another video. Uh, this time we'll be talking about iOS and True Color. So basically, uh, an iPhone and uh, how does True Color work on it? So uh, I'm making this video because a lot of people have doubts about it, and a lot of people don't know how does True Color actually work. Uh, so this video is for them. Uh, Android people will not have any problem with True Color. It works the way it is supposed to. Uh, in iOS, there is a limitation. So uh, let me talk about the limitation first. Now, uh, for people who don't know how iOS works, basically iOS, uh, whoever thinks that it does multitasking, uh, it's right and wrong at the same time. Uh, it does do multitasking, but it pauses the uh, secondary app. So it doesn't allow a, a second app to run in the background. So if you're using an app right now, uh, you pause it, uh, as in you uh, want to open up another one, you press the home button, you open up another app, uh, it pauses the previous one, it does keep it in the background, it is in its cache, uh, cache memory, uh, it is there, so it um, when you go back to it, it opens up immediately, but it is paused. It does not get any authority to run on an Android device. Uh, that's the sorry, on a iOS device. That's the restriction that the OS itself has. Now, because of that OS uh, restriction, True Caller cannot do Live Caller ID. So if you want to do Live Caller ID on a iOS, it does not work currently. Uh, it may work in the future, I don't know, but right now it doesn't work because, uh, okay, let's just, let me tell you how True Caller works. Basically, you get a call. Uh, True Caller uh, compares that with its server, with its database and uh, shows you what that uh, number is, as in uh, who the number is for. Uh, like, it'll show you the name, it'll show you uh, where it's from. Uh, now, where does it get the data? It's from you and me. Uh, basically, you have saved that number as uh, spam, like you picked up the call and you um, spoke to the person. Now, you know whether it's a spam call or you actually know it's your friend or whoever it is, and you save it in your contacts. Now, that contact uh, in your phone is synced with True Caller server. So, when someone else gets a call, that contact, whatever you save the name with, goes to them and they now know that who it is. So, that's how True Caller basically works. Now, if there are a lot of people who mark those numbers as spam, then automatically when the call comes to you, then it shows you that it's a spam call. This many people have marked it as spam. So that's how TrueCaller works. But in iOS, it does not work that way because uh, TrueCaller is not allowed to run in the background while you're getting a call. Now that's a security feature from iOS uh, because uh, like uh, on an Android device, you can have apps which will record what your, uh, record your conversation. It can uh, do things behind uh, the app that you're already using. Like you may be on a call, but at the same time, your camera may be accessed by someone. Uh, your uh, calls can be recorded by another app. Uh, all those things cannot be done on a iOS device because of the OS restriction. So that same OS restriction, the security feature doesn't allow TrueCaller to do a live uh, caller ID. So the workaround that they have is uh, TrueCaller basically saves all the spam onto your phone. So if you have uh, a Android, sorry, uh, if you have a iOS device, let me show you how it works. So you open up TrueCaller. So TrueCaller opens up. Now you get a dialer. So you dial over here and you can call anyone. Uh, now TrueCaller to TrueCaller, it will show you a, um, what do you call it? The uh, caller ID. So if you have TrueCaller and the person who is uh, getting your call, has true caller, then both of you will be able to get a caller ID. Now that's something uh, which will only work if you dial from the app, not from your phone. So the second option is contacts. The third option is search. So you can search for the number to find out who that was, but not who that is. Like when you're getting a call, you cannot use it. Uh, or it will not allow you to do that. But after the call is over, you can go ahead and search. Uh, now this is how it updates it. So basically you keep going and uh, you, I mean, you'll have to keep going and updating your spam protection. It will go ahead and uh, download all the numbers which are in spam. 
okay so this is how true caller works so these are the only options that you have when you go into more you have upgrade to professional notifications uh, my block list settings now in settings you have language you have top spammers availability privacy now privacy just lets you know that uh, uh, does can everyone who has true caller see you or just request only uh, availability shows the other person here that you are available uh, whoever is calling you top spammers store as contact so this is how true caller works on ios now um, one thing i don't like about it is uh, when you get a call it doesn't show you a big name it's there as a small line and if it's a big name as in uh, uh, if it's some uh, spammer from blah 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 uh, that spa comes in but from blah 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 does not show up you cannot see that so that's something that I don't like about uh, true color on iOS now let me show you on their website itself from their app so you go into iPhone and in iPhone how does caller ID on iOS work you press that and now you'll see how it works so you can go through that you can read that basically it tells you that it'll only work from true caller to true caller app whether it's android or ios it doesn't matter but in android you can call from any uh, any dialer you don't need to use true caller app for that and secondly true caller has to be working or sorry, uh, rather running in the background so you do, uh, don't close it by double pressing it and closing the app don't close it let it run you need to have strong 4g or 3g connection so all those restrictions and the biggest problem is over here mm, yeah due to limitations on ios the live caller id on iphone is a work in progress so now this is a limitation on ios that's why the live caller id does not work now that is the reason why this is not my main device i'm not a android fan or a ios fan or nothing i like both uh, os uh, i like iphones i like android devices but my problem is I get a lot of spam calls. Like if I get 10 calls a day, out of them 8 are spam. So I don't want to pick up spam calls every time when I'm driving, when I'm uh, sleeping, I keep getting calls. So I don't want them. So iPhone uh, does not help me blocking them. Uh, I get all the spams available in the market. Everyone calls me. Uh, I want that spam to be blocked. That's the reason why I'm not using an iPhone. So. Uh, this is my secondary device uh, it's always on silent because of that restriction as soon as that restriction is gone then maybe i'll use the iphone as my primary device so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe uh, hit the like button and i'll be back with more videos Bye bye